Hello and welcome to the show. This is Everything Under the Sun. My name is Ty. Hope all of you have been doing incredible and had an incredible time, holiday with family, with friends, with whoever you spent that with. And if you spent it by yourself, I hope you gave yourself love. And knowing that just because you're by yourself physically in a room does not mean that you're ever, ever alone. So hope you had a great time. Hope your week has been great. I took that week off from podcasting and there was nothing released, as you can probably tell. But, you know, I wanted to come back on here and there's just been a lot going on within the last two weeks that has been incredible. So many incredible things. I've gotten to see so many friends, so many family members, so many incredible, memorable experiences that have happened. And I'm so grateful for it. And what's on my heart right now is this idea of, you know, saying the things that we feel the same things that we feel about other people on our minds, the things that we want to say to other people, because, you know, there's so many opportunities that we, that arise within our experience that we start feeling the sensation of, you know, I really want to reach out to that person. I really want to say this thing to this person. I really want to express myself to this person. And so often we feel as though, oh, I'll, I'll say it another time. I'll push it back another time. I'll, I'll reach out maybe tomorrow or the next day. And then that turns into the next day and the next day and we never actually get around to saying those things that are really meaningful for us the things that maybe even can help to break down barriers within the relationships that we have saying i love you to a family member or to a friend is something that can really break down that barrier of you know love isn't something that we have to only give to someone that we're intimate with so saying the things that we feel are on our heart towards the other people that we're interacting with in our daily lives it's something that can be so fulfilling not only for ourselves but it can help others to recognize that they are valued and they are loved because i know for i mean personal experience i know there have been situations when i didn't feel like i was loved i didn't feel like i was valued and hearing those words when i did hear them it meant so much to me because it was like that light in the darkness that told me that you know i i am loved i am appreciated i am valued people do care about me and i think that's a gift that we can give to anyone we can give to all those around us and even if you say i love you every single day to someone you know there's a depth to that there's a reason why you love them and saying those things can be something that just opens that door to a deeper level of communication a deeper relationship level and that's something that it's something that can't be really taken for granted because we don't know how long we have in this physical life and although i don't believe in death i don't i believe that we are eternal beings and we just believe that we are in these physical bodies it's it's still the experience that we have where we see loved ones that are no longer with us in this physical plane and i do believe that they are with us always but again there's that there's that physicality there's that communication that happens on this physical plane that that seems to be so meaningful to all of us and as we recognize that you know the next moment isn't guaranteed we can bring all those things that we want to say to others and we want others to feel about their presence in our lives we can say that to them right now and that is it's something that's so powerful and something that's so incredible so in those times when you get that feeling that arises that says you know i want to reach out to this person i want to say what's on my mind recognize that there are certain fears there are certain things that are happening in your life that may hinder you from doing that maybe you realize in that moment that maybe i've been giving so much attention to my job and my work and these other priorities outside of me that i haven't really given value to the people that are helping to support my livelihood helping to support my life and my happiness and my joy and and the abundance that i see in this world i haven't had enough time to really give my attention towards that or say the things that i've been feeling maybe it's a family member or someone that you've separated from and had some time away from and and maybe you don't even realize why you're not speaking anymore but you've always wanted to mend that relationship and something with this is that we say the things that are on our mind the things that are on our heart it's not up to us to make that other person believe the things that are being said but as long as you resonate with that feeling as long as you continue to pour out that feeling and even if you get back hatred still pouring out that love that you wish to convey it's something that is it's like this consistency of doing this thing that keeps bringing a value to what we're doing in this life and as we keep giving value to that rather than succumbing to the responses from outside of us we can start to move more firmly in that feeling and we can start realizing that we don't wish to only say i love you to the people that are very close to us but also the people that we meet and interact with the people that we 
come to realize are in truth part of our life story i mean everyone that we interact with everyone that we come across in this life i mean they're presented to you for a reason they they come across in your life for a reason there are billions of people on this planet and the world is so much smaller with travel being the way that it is and and people knowing people from all different places so the the fact that you're meeting who you meet the fact that you're coming across the people that you're coming across there's no coincidence in that so give value to that and give value to those people give value to the person that checks you out when you go to the grocery store i i love you i value you i appreciate you maybe you don't have to say i love you because love is such a strong word it's something that has so much weight behind it that sometimes people are even off put or even afraid to hear that word so even just giving your appreciation giving your thanks giving your gratitude for this person being in your life for crossing paths with this individual and even if it's the last time you see that individual giving that thanks giving that gratitude again it shows that person that they are appreciated and maybe that person doesn't even feel that appreciation just yet but maybe as they reflect on their day later on and they realize that it was a terrible day but they had that comment that they were appreciated that they were thanked and and that helps to brighten this experience that they've had and that is truly a gift that i know any of us would be happy to get you know I, i've been in very dark places and i know that many of you have been in that place as well and and coming out of that it really is the effort of ourselves but the support that comes from outside of us the the words of encouragement the the love that comes out it's something that can be received and as long as it keeps pouring out it will be received in some kind of way in some some space and time it, it will be received and even if it is years later i promise you the thanks that you give the love that you give the smiles that you give the hugs that you give the embraces with your essence that you give it is making a difference it is making a change and i encourage you to continue doing that not only for other people but for yourself as well and as we start to give this gratitude as we start to give this love and say these things that are on our hearts recognize the fears that are coming up because sometimes we've been fearful of saying these very things to people that we care about sometimes it feels vulnerable to express ourselves in that way and i promise you that even in itself is a gift that fear that arises when you want to speak the truth of love i know that when i wanted to in this podcast when i wanted to express some of these deeper things they there was a lot of fear that came up what if people don't accept it what if people uh, are you know off put by it what if people are kind of uh dissuaded by it because you know love again is something that has so much weight behind it that sometimes people want to steer clear of anyone that says that to them and these are all fears that arise and these are fears that come in different forms and different words to go along with them and as long as we recognize that that fear is not something that we want to hold on to anymore that fear isn't something that we want to be the reason why we don't say those things and as we start to realize that the passion the the love that we have in our hearts the things that we want to say the meaningful things that we want to say to other people it is greater than that fear when when the passion or the desire to do something is greater than that fear of doing it then that's when we will make that motion but it's not until you keep telling yourself that this is something that's meaningful for me this is the truth that i wish to speak then when you know that so firmly that it doesn't matter how the other person responds then you know that you're coming from a place of love you know that you are not saying anything that would put them down or to hurt them rather than uplift them encourage them give them love give them the feeling that you feel about them and again it's not our job to make other people feel that way but as long as we get that out as long as we express that it is a fulfillment that is deeper than anything you can imagine and as we keep moving through those hurdles of fear it will become stronger and stronger and it will be something that you just want to do naturally because you will see how incredible each and every being is you are incredible and i've said this multiple times in this podcast and again you don't have to believe me but your presence here your essence here the fact that you are even in existence is something that's so phenomenally incredible that i'm just thankful for your presence here and i may never meet you in this life but i love you and i'm thankful for you and i will say that until the day that i go far away from this place but also you know not really leave anywhere so recognize the things that are on your heart recognize the things that you want to say and express those truths and if it's something that is 
blocked from coming out and you recognize that blockage you recognize that your heart starts racing you recognize that maybe cold sweats start happening you recognize that there's anxiety that starts to get built up understand what's that what's coming from that why is that arising within that experience by saying something like i care about you i love you i want the best for you and ask yourself that question is this fear that i'm feeling worth more than having this opportunity right now to express the things that i'm feeling express the things that are on my mind, express the things that I wish this other person to know about how valuable they are in my life. Because again, the next moment is not guaranteed. This moment right now is what is. This is actually the only moment that is. You can rewind this recording and hear me say that again, that this is the only moment that there is, and that will still be a factual statement because you're experiencing it right now, you're hearing it right now, and you don't hear it in the past, you can't hear the past. You can rewind this recording, but again, you're hearing it in the present. Your feelings are right now in the present. This moment right now is all that there is. And the next one is not guaranteed. And moment after moment after moment, I mean, <laughs> this entire podcast has been 13 minutes already of this podcast, and each moment is something that allows us, avails us new opportunity to give that love, to be that love, to express that kindness and that joy that we have for the people that are surrounding us and for ourselves because that's something that is so important is that love that we have for ourselves we are all connected and if we can give love to other people we can give love to ourselves and in fact it's not until we give that full love within ourselves that it becomes natural to start outpouring that love outside of us and those fears become so much smaller because the love that you feel you're saying that this this is what i feel I validate it. It is my truth. It is it is the truth of my being, at least right now in this moment. And I stand in that. And in standing in that, I'm not going to allow fear to keep me back from expressing it any longer. And if down the line, I realize that what's in my heart evolves to something more, evolves to something more expansive, and I can add on to what I've already said, then I'm not going to regret saying what I've said in the past, but I'm going to live right now in this moment, this moment that is right now, the only moment that there is right now. And I'm going to validate the new evolution of my being. I'm going to integrate that into how I move in this world and how I interact with people. And that will be what I move from. That will be what I speak from. And, and it feels good to do that. And as I let down these fears, I'm realizing that less and less these fears are able to hold me back from anything. Because fear is something that pervades all avenues of life. Every single segment of our life has fear layered in it in some kind of way, in some shape or in some form. And it can be something that's so small to something that's incredibly large. But fear is still the essence of it. Unless we're living in joy and peace and serenity and in, in, in a flow then we are experiencing some kind of contraction, some kind of fear. And even in the idea of thinking about, it's like, oh, I'm not feeling joyous, I'm not feeling happiness, and then thinking about that and, and wondering why, that doesn't feel good either. So allow yourself that peace of mind, allow yourself to just be as you are, feel as you do, and express that as you feel comfortable to do so. And when you feel that discomfort arise with something that you wish to say, ask yourself, what what is behind this? What is behind this fear? And is this fear something that I wish to hold me back any longer? So that's really all I had for this episode. It's really to express that love. I know that there are so many people that I saw again in this past two weeks, and it's been truly, truly incredible. And I've also experienced loss in the family. And it was it's something that I feel is, I mean, it pervades this life experience. And although I still feel very connected with that loved one, I still recognize that saying certain things in this physical world can be, it can allow an experience of communion in a greater level. And that is something that is incredible. And it's something that really can't be refuted. So say the things that are in your heart, say the things to the ones that you love, say the things that you want to say to yourself, the things that you wish to feel for yourself in your life, the appreciation that you have for your beingness, for all that you are right now in this moment and all the criticisms that seem to arise as we think about how much we love ourselves allow that to be your recognition of a fear that has been pervading my life is it fearful for me to appreciate myself and although it sounds like it's kind of strange to have a fear of appreciating yourself there's a deep fear that many people hold for appreciating themselves 
Think about people saying, well, if you love yourself, that's kind of a vain thing to do. How is it vain to love yourself? I've seen so many people, you know, on posts and things like that, where it's like the post is about loving yourself and having a deep love for yourself so much that it's above what anyone else thinks about you. Love yourself above what anyone else in the world thinks about you. And people commenting, well, it's like, that's kind of selfish. Shouldn't you love your kids? And shouldn't you love your parents? And shouldn't you love all these other things? And it's like, yes, of course. I mean, that's that's a great thing to experience is that love and that communion in that way. But in truth, love yourself and the need to love other people. That's not something that we need to do. That's something that we want to do. I was actually just talking to my mom. I thanked her for loving me, you know, because just because you're a mother or a parent or, you know, whatever degree of caretaker that you are, doesn't mean that you have to love the child that you're taking care of, the child that is yours. It doesn't mean you have to love anyone. But the fact that we do love and the fact that we do it so naturally is something that's very indicative to the love that we are. And the realization that if this person doesn't have to love me, then there must be a reason why they do. There must be something within me that is lovable. And as we recognize that, and sometimes it takes first recognizing the love that's coming from outside of us for us to realize that we deserve love within ourselves. But after we discover that, after we start realizing that and saying, you know, maybe there are things that I'm, I'm able to love about myself. As we start to realize that, we can start to dive into that more and explore the depth of that love. And I promise you, it is an endless depth of love. It is endless and, and it's incredible and it feels amazing. And I promise you, as you give this love to yourself and others, it will be something that expands and multiplies and consumes your life in the best way. So yeah, again, that's all I have for this episode. If you have any thoughts or ideas or anything that you'd like to share, you can send that to everything.sunpodcast at gmail.com. You can join any of the social media groups, Instagram, everything.sunpodcast, Twitter, at everysunpodcast, the Facebook group, at everysunpodcast, and the YouTube page, everything under the sun podcast. And I spoke about in the last episode or one of the previous recordings that I was doing a... Um, spiritual questions being asked and answered type of thing on the YouTube page. Uh, while I was on vacation, my SD card got corrupted. So all the videos and recordings that I had actually got, you know, corrupted. So I'll have to do those recordings again, but expect that to be up there. Just spiritual questions that people ask along this journey, things that we all wonder, things that we all wish to explore, things that bring up confusion and, and controversy within our own mind as we go on the spiritual path and, and doing my best to answer that from this place that I know that we all are and this being that I know that we all are. And, you know, I can't speak to how valid you will find that to be, but, you know, if you feel it within your heart, then that is where your truth lies. And if you don't feel that that is your truth, then again, dismiss it. I never want to force anything upon you. I never want you to believe anything just for face value. If you don't feel it in your heart, if you don't feel it as a part of your essence, a truth that you wish to take on, then don't don't listen to it. Disregard it. You are always your best guide to this experience and the truths that you come to understand. You will always be your best guide to these truths. So listen to yourself, feel for yourself, speak to yourself and give gratitude and thanks and love to yourself. I love you all so much, and I'll talk to you soon. <laughs>